Smoke Jumpers When a fire starts in a remote location, someone needs to be there to stop it. In come the Smoke Jumpers. These firefighters insert to the scene by means of parachute from a fixed wing aircraft. Yes, you heard that right. There are firefighters who parachute on scene to stop fires. The smoke jumpers are essentially the special operations of firefighting and are arguably one of the most elite jobs a firefighter can take on. Did you know they partially inspired the creation of the 101st Airborne Division? The more you know. What's up everyone? General Discharge here. If you want to learn more about smoke jumpers, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Before we jump into it, make sure to take a moment and show us some love and support by liking our video and subscribing to our channel. Your support is our lifeblood. Do not hesitate to ask us questions in the comment section below. We check everything. Smoke jumpers are specially trained wildland firefighters who provide an initial attack response on remote wildland fires by inserting through means of parachutes. They've been at this for over 70 years, with smoke jumpers responding to extinguishing fires caused by Japanese balloon bombs sent over on the jet stream in World War II. When a situation gets too sticky, they insert at the heart of the action to start responding to the fire. When the smoke jumpers touch ground, they are then supplied by parachutes with food, water, and firefighting tools, allowing them to be self-sufficient for up to 48 hours. The gear they receive to work with can be anything from chainsaws, cross-cut saws, hand tools, and much more. Take a moment to look at the picture on screen of some of the loadout a smoke jumper has for their mission. Do you see that tasty MRE? There are no fire hydrants or fire trucks to supply water for the smoke jumpers. Instead, they construct a fire break with their chainsaws, crosscut saws, and hand tools. They fell trees, cut brush, and dig long trenches in the ground ahead of the direction the fire is traveling, which stops the spread of the fire. After the jump team contains the fire, they cool down the remaining heat by stirring hot ash with mineral soil. After all visible smoke is gone, the team gets down and dirty and feels the soil by hand to make sure there's no chance of a re Kindle. While they're the ones on the ground, they have a constant support system aiding them in their mission. Smoke jumpers always have a spotter on board the plane which circles above, relaying vital information about wind speed, fire activity, and terrain data. Their support system also ensures that they have a safe jump location, as the smoke jumpers aren't just going to jump headfirst into the blaze if it's not going to do them any good. Smoke jumpers also learn about emergency medical care and become expert tailors, since they are responsible for maintaining their own parachutes, gear bags, and jumpsuits. They also spend a lot of time perfecting their jump skills in what is nicknamed the Mutilator, which is a landing simulator that drops them on a cable from high in the air, so they can learn how to drop, roll, and get up unhurt. Let's get into where the smoke jumpers are. Currently, there are nine smoke jumper crews operating in the United States. Seven are operated by the United States Forest Service, and two are operated by the Bureau of Land Management. On screen are the smoke jumper bases. If you're near any of these areas, you got some extra layers of protection. Okay, so you know what smoke jumpers do, and where they operate, but how do you become one of these elite firefighters? Interested in getting some cool merch and supporting the channel? Check out our shop on Teespring. We have all sorts of new designs, and we're even offering a 10% discount if you use the code GENERAL. Click the link in the description, on our homepage, or just use the pictures you see below. Now back to the video. As you've just learned, the missions of a smoke jumper are quite intense. Due to the nature of their work, not just any firefighter can become a smoke jumper. The smoke jumper community only accepts the best. The community is extremely small, with only a few hundred across the country. Candidates must be stellar wildland firefighters and be in top physical and mental conditions, undergoing both physical and psychological tests. The minimum required physical fitness standards for smoke jumpers, which are set by the National Wildlife Coordinating Group, are Ruck 110 pounds for 3 miles in 90 minutes or less, run 1.5 miles in 11 minutes or less, 25 push-ups in 60 seconds, 45 sit-ups in 60 seconds, and 7 pull-ups. Even if you may meet the physical requirements, you're most likely going to have to be a very experienced firefighter to even be looked at for this job. Most smoke jumpers are former hot shots, which are the most highly trained, skilled, and experienced type of hand crews out there in the firefighting community. Want to learn more about the smoke jumpers beyond this video? We got a couple of resources for you. If you want an inside look of what it's like being a smoke jumper and the missions they go on, go check out the book Smoke Jumper, a memoir by one of America's most select airborne firefighters by Jason A. Ramos. 
The link for it is in the description below. And the second resource for you is the National Smoke Jumpers Association website. They are the Keepers of the Flame and help to preserve the history of the Smoke Jumpers. We'll leave a link to their website in the description below. And that pretty much sums up the Smoke Jumpers. These are highly trained firefighters who are capable of responding to the most difficult of fires and get the job done without all of the fancy gear regular firefighters get in the cities. This is a highly respectable job and a great opportunity for anyone who wants to take their firefighting endeavors to the next level. If you've made it this far in the video, please give us a like if this is the first time you've ever heard of Smoke Jumpers, or if you just like the video in general. Well, that is the down and dirty of Smoke Jumpers. If you learned something from this video, make sure to give us a like and subscribe to our channel. As always, thank you for watching. Do you even want to be here? A big shout out to all of our YouTube members and our patrons over at our Patreon. Thank you all so much for taking the extra step in supporting our channel. It is much appreciated. If you'd like to be featured on a general discharge video, consider joining our membership with the link in the description or the join button to the left of the subscribe button, or go give our Patreon a look and join the team. Here's Nick Nausea. All your friends are subscribing to general discharge and you don't even want to be here.